Alright, this is obviously a modded server. Um, I only got about 15 minutes to show you guys this before the server starts to wipe. Um, it won't wipe today, it will wipe in a few more days. Basically behind there, that is dome, and this is my house. And this is the server, guys. It's really good for um, building and gathering, really. So let's take a quick look at the space. Now, she took a day and a half to build. And about another half a day to upgrade her. Fucking all sheet metal. But she is worth it. She is a very nice home. She is definitely honeycombed. So here I'll show you the inside. As I said, I only got 15 minutes to show you. So as you can see, double airlock. Window to get rid of the intruders. Flamies to slow them down. Just come up around the top here. Another turret, another flamey and decide to come up this way. As you can see, this is the honeycombing going around the edge, so she is honeycombed. And we do have a good line of sight on people, so if they did decide to come for a frontal assault, we can just mow them down, man. Like, just <laughs> mow them down, boys. And if you want to get a bit higher height advantage on them, you can go up another level. But anyway, for a moment, we'll keep going. Keep going down. Alright, this is the main room. This is the charcoal production factory area, boys. This is all it's all about. Charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. This server has everything pumping except for the charcoal. Um down here. Uh, I didn't have I don't have any more turrets, but turrets go on there. So if they start picking sides again, you're in level. You're always level with your field of view. No matter what, oh yeah, we got a mining quarry, we got a few of those around. So you're always in the field of view. If you want to go up another level, you can. We've also got uh, the prison watchtowers just outside in front of the walls there. Which I'll show you this here. That's it there. So, you know, if you want to get up a bit close on the wall and help push back, this is a 10 um, man clan base. You can go to 20 if you really want to, but that's pretty much like an entire server. Anyway, uh, this is the loot room. So as you can see, we got misc, which is just your random crap components. As you can see, this is a heavy mod, uh, modded server. Super loot, uh, guns, more guns, ammo, it's a bit light at the moment, medical. We got your materials, you know. You guys are probably moving a bit too fast, but anyway. Um, explosives, sulfur, gunpowder's are really low, because yeah, we haven't been making ammo. Yeah, that's the um, charcoal. This is the wood. This is a lot of wood, stone, frags, and uh, high qual. These are just, you know, your, you know about cupboards, but I haven't put anything in them yet. So we'll head up top. Uh, this is just a random area. Um, it can be turned into a sleeping area if you really wanted to. Um, this area here just goes back up to the other side over here, to the front gate. If we keep heading up. You get a little crossroads section. Now this part here is designed uh, for dropping down in case you get too much heavy fire. What I mean by that is what I'll show you. So you just open up one of these doors. Say so you're up here, right? You're up here and you're you know doing your thing, just firing a few rounds down at the enemy. And all of a sudden you get hit and you want to heal, so you just drop down and heal on up. And all you have to do is walk short back around and up you go. Uh, that is the fire exit, which leads right up to the top. The rest is just the same, really. The yeah, doors, they all go around and around and around to the same point. That's dome. Built in the old dome for the uh, low grade and the tech trash components. Anyway, we'll just keep heading up top. Now, as I said, she took a day and a bit to build and another few hours to fully upgrade her. Uh, I am hoping to go to high call, but uh, I fear that I might not be able to reach that. I don't have enough high call. I need to go out on the node farm, really. Um, this is the sniping box, some ammo and medical. 
So up here, this is the top floor and the emergency chute all the way down bottom. I will show you that on the way down, but I'll get all these doors open. Alright, so yeah, we got full 360 degree view on fucking everything. We can see people coming miles away. And it is possible to hit people on top of dome. We have done it a few times. It's just, um, sorry. Skipping the night. It's another thing I like about the server. You can skip nights into daytime straight away. It is possible to hit people all over on dome with a headshot. Uh, we've tried. Uh, me and my friends, we have tried. And it is possible to hit them over the head. So all you have to do is just... Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do it. But anyway, I'll try and aim for the top bit there on my sights. I need to veer up. There we go. It is possible to hit people from dome. And also up here you can hit people down below. They start running. Um, we got two mining quarries going at the moment. I'll just close all this up because I don't want people, you know, just guessing for home or not. So we got one there and we got another one over behind that rock there. Uh, we do have two more mining quarries, but uh, we just haven't placed them yet because, yeah, I'm in a bit slack. Alright, we'll take this chute all the way down to bottom, man. And here we go. There we go. That's not bad. TC, a few mates on the ground there, sleeping on the job. Being good boys. <laughs> um, yeah, again, this is just charcoal production. I'll just take you outside quickly, and I'll do a quick lap around the building. Now, this is free design. So, it is pretty much all... You can class it as a citadel, if you want. Or a, um, a homestead. Well, not really a homestead. I um, oh yeah, these will be upgraded to sheet metal too. The watchtowers. And this is our food beds, uh, planter beds. We can place pumpkin, corn, or um, uh, hemp. Yeah, these are the watchtowers. Yeah. Anyway, here it all is here. Full, you know, V-shaped view. Alrighty, sneak past him. He's glitched in there. Be good. And chase, it's even better. So, yeah, this is her, this is all she is, man. Um, this back wall here, you notice it's not kind of the same as the other ones. That is because that is the back wall of the loot room, that is basically a design floor. Um, she can have more. She was supposed to have another one of these edge tower bits branching off from here, but um, I couldn't really do it because the height level you need a really really flat open area to build this guys if you want to consider building this um the flatter the area the better because you can add more branching off as i said uh our three furnaces oil cooker and our teammate just fell asleep there i'll quickly run you out around the walls uh she is three high external walls wrapping around i am aiming to do four anyway i'll just run you around real quickly Again, there's one of our diggers, and that one's over there. As you can see, she takes it, and I'll just veer out a bit. As you can see, there's just no hope. If this was a 10-man clan base, all you have to do is set up in your fucking uh, sniping towers and angles and everything, level field, have everyone on all corners, with fully ammoed up and geared up. You will not get raided, ever. I would consider this a non oh, not really uh, non-raidable, but impenetrable base. They will not have the resources to get in, especially if it was all made of high quality. Again, that is dome right there. So yes, it is possible to hit people with headshots. As I said, me and my friends have been doing it. Now, the only thing, the, um, the walls will be three here. Maybe I can probably add another one in, but it's because of the rock foundation here, the mountain rock. So that's the only thing that's stopping me. But just look at that, man. If you had people on all these windows pointing outwards, like a 10 man clan, you will not be getting in. You will be not raiding. There will be no raiding at all. Your raid will be shut down in an instant. Ah, uh, yes, I also did block off that cave entrance so people cannot sneak up on an inn. Uh, yeah, I placed some of these uh, flag markers down just to kind of warn people this is <laughs> kind of a kill zone. So I'll just scroll out. This is what we're dealing with. Uh, we do have some TCs around as well. There are TCs around blocking. I am going to be adding more TCs around to stop them from building uh, any type of uh, raid towers or anything. 
but if I had more uh, CCTV cameras and laptops, I'd probably point turrets everywhere in certain spots, and this would be classed as a non raidable base. This is pretty much what it is, guys. This is a non raidable base. Everything is pretty much the same as it leads up into the uh, corners. It's all the same. You can even get across to the next one if you need to help your buddy out. Alright, so for instance, if you're over here, you're shooting some people, and your mate's calling you over to the next two towers over, all you have to do is just run through one, two, you're there in an instant. You don't need to, you know, go down and around, you're there, and you can This is just help fire and fire and fire. If you need to get up higher and get a better height view on them, just go up one. You can also, if you need to double back to the other side, if you've been pushed, do is just run back to the other side and start pushing them back. But I've run out of ammo. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And this is a invadable base. You will not be able to raid this base ever. It is strictly impossible if it is done correctly. That's why I came up from this way. <laughs> I just want to close all this off. Was that? No, I did not. There we go. Right, this is basically an inratable base, boys and girls. Uh, thanks for watching and happy Rust playing. Again, this is the server.